Hi everybody, welcome to the best soy latte and me. That was weird, like a uh, random whatever. But anyway, in today's video, I am excited to do this video just because it's a pretty big haul. Um, I know that I, I was supposed to do a lot of videos this week. Like um, it was supposed to be like a what's in my bag video, but like the Girl Scout edition. Like I wanted to do that. And what's in my bag video night out edition. And um, I also have um, facial... Or no, um, skincare routine coming up and favorite elf product. But I decided to postpone a couple of those just because I got a few more products from, um, well, you'll see. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to be doing a, I guess I'm going to be doing a birthday haul as well as a, like, random haul. I'm just going to mix them together um, because I did um, use a couple of my birthday money just to spend it on, like, you know, a little bit of stuff. Anyway, um, alright, so let's get started. Uh, let's start off with a couple of the birthday gifts that I got, um, on, like, June. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to show you was this one. I already showed this to you, but anyway. Um, I got the Maybelline Color Sensational Cream Gloss. It looks like this, and yes, I will swatch it for you guys again. Um, I already did this, but I will do it again. It comes in three colors, just like this. Um, it comes in, uh, what color is this? 175 Bengal Rose. I don't know if you can see that. I always do it, but you can see the number, but not, not the name. It comes in 140 Pink Petal. 140. And, um, 610 Naked Star. Alright, so I will swatch it for you. Um, I think I used, like, the Bengal Rose ones. And... Let's do these. So that one is Bengal Rose. So it, I think all of them have, have shimmers in them, but um, still very pretty. And then I got Pink Petal, which I will swatch for you guys. So this is like a long delayed haul because it is already like almost mid-July. So that one in the middle is Pink Petal. I can't point. All right, right there and then the last one is naked star which i doubt you will see because it's very naked naked but i think i look i like this the most because i love my nudes all right see exactly i doubt that you'll see it but i will try do you see that no you can't but it's right beside pink petal and i will do like the pointer finger thing so naked star can't see it but anyway yes I got those these are from my cousin um, she gave me these because she knows I love makeup so she finally got me like a couple of makeup piece of stuff so she got me that and then um, what else did I get oh this one I went to the Clinique event and I do have a vlog coming up um, just because I I took it with a um, my brother's camera so it's taking forever to upload. I can never upload it properly. But anyway, I was there and um, Charles was there as well because she was the one who hosted the party, like I said. Um, her, she goes by Wicker Moss. She, al she also has a Facebook page, a blog, and a YouTube channel. And I will put all three down below. And also, she's currently joining a contest, I think. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go research on that because I already voted. Um, I'm just going to look for it again. And um, I'll also put it down below so you guys should help her out because she is, um, you know, she entered a contest and I think it was pretty cool, like, her entry. But anyway, she got me this. That was, a, like, a really long um, intro. But anyway, she got me an EOS lip balm. Yay! And this one is in Honeysuckle Honeydew. And it's, like, really dirty now because I bring it with me everywhere. Like, you can see, like, the spots and be like, oh, goodness. But anyway, it just looks like this. You twist it open. And ta-da! And now it's actually flat because I love it. I just put it on like every single time that I can. But um, I'm trying to preserve it just because I don't, you know, get a lot of these every day. <laughs> um, so that's how it looks like. Thank you again, Charles, for my birthday gift. And she also gave a sweet note. It just said like, um, Trina, dear, happy birthday. Um, you know, love lots, Charles. But I put that away with all like my special birthday cards. Okay, so I got that. And then I decided to buy myself a Christmas gift. Well, not myself. My mom bought me this one. But then um, I was the one who chose it. And she was like, all right, go buy something. She gave me something else. But she also was like, um, you know, I'll just I'll just give you, like, another makeup-y item. So 
So I was like, okay, so I decided to go to NARS, and then um, I was there um, a few days after my birthday, but then when I went, they didn't have the one that I wanted. I wanted a blush called Madly. Anyway, it's a blush. I got another blush. I already got Orgasm, and then I figured um, what would be like the opposite of Orgasm. I wanted to be like less pink, um, more like on the peachy, like brown side. So just in case I get like really pink, I want to counter that with something that's more brown, uh, which is what I learned in the Clinique event. Um, so I decided to get Madly, and um, I they didn't have it the first time around, but when I went to Shangri-La um, a few days after, I finally got it. So this is how it looks like. It's still new, but I've been using it quite a lot. So forgive my nails because it's a little bit chipped, like you can see it. Chip, chip, chip. But anyway, um, this is Madly. Oh, you can't see it. Madly. And this is how it looks like. Open it. Um, don't want to blind you guys, but it does have a mirror and it does have the NARS thing. And this is how it looks like. Oh, wait. Is that better? So it's like a really, really brown um, peachy shade. It's more peachy and it's like more tinted than the one you see on the computer, but it's more like a brown and um, peachy color. So I will still swatch it for you guys. This is how it looks like on my finger. You can see it, it's like the powdery area. And let's do it right over here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. Ching! But I really do like it. Um, it's more like, uh, it has shimmers in it, but I don't really see the shimmers, unlike um, Orgasm, which I will show you as well. Uh, I think I showed that before. And I will swatch it this time, because last time I, I don't think I swatched it because it was new. But now that I've been using it for quite a bit, um, I can swatch it for you guys. So this one is Orgasm. Just stick that out. Been using it quite a bit, as you can see. And it's more like a peachy color. Peachy. Is that better? There you go. That's how it looks like. And then I will swatch for you guys. Um, it has more shimmer, but I really do like it. It's like a... It reminds me of a melony color. So that's it beside, um, this is Madly, and this one is Orgasm. So I don't know if I held it long enough for you guys to see, but yes. But I will hold up Madly again just further away, because maybe it's like more true to life color like that. I don't know. That's how it looks like. Um, alright, so my mom got me that as well. My parents did. So thank you, Mummy, for my new, um, blush. Alright, so that's done. And then I had a couple of birthday money, so I decided to splurge on a couple of Revlon stuff. And um, my favorite things from Revlon, besides the foundation and everything in between, um, I got a couple of lippies as well. Um, but my mom also decided to get me a couple of things from Revlon. Um, so she got me just two things from Revlon. She got me the um, photo... Revlon Photo Ready um, Foundation. Just looks like that really pretty. It has shimmers in it, so um, but it's very subtle. But I do like this. I like the coverage and I like the color that it gives me. I am in number five natural beige. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There you go, natural beige. And um, this is a little bit. I thought it was a little bit too dark for me, but then I realized it wasn't. So it just looks like this, and I will do a. Can you guys see that? So it's right there. And blend it. So it looks like that practically blends into my skin. But I really do like the coverage of it. It makes me look a little bit more morena. But I do like it, especially since I just it's summer. And, um, well, it's almost not summer, but I do like it. I like it better than um, being a little bit pale. So she got me that one. And she also got me a lipstick, um, which is something that I've been wanting for the longest time. This one is Revlon's, oops, <laughs> Revlon's, um, Color Burst, and what else but Soft Nude, because I love my nudes, and I'm actually wearing it right now, um, as a base, but I do have a gloss on top, which I will show you later. So this one is Revlon Soft Nude, and I've used it a lot since I got it, that's why it looks like this already. Really gross. But I do like the packaging, and I like the fact that it has, like, Revlon, um, like, engraved on the bottom but I will still swatch it for you guys because I know that you guys will be wondering 
You've seen it like a lot, but um, that's how it looks like right there. And I love this color. I swear, I love this for like an everyday just um, nude lip. So I do suggest that you guys go out and get this one. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers have already said um, a lot of things, a lot of good things about this lipstick, but it's like the perfect beigey pink for me. Um, nudie pink, I guess. And I just really, really like it. Um, this one I think is 400 and... 75 or something like that, like 400, less than 500, so it's like 475, 495, I'm not sure. So I got that. And then um, the Photo Ready Foundation is um, 900, probably 975, something like that. So just in case you were wondering, but you can also check out the counters because um, I'm really not sure about the pricing. I think that's just the range of what I know. All right, so I got that from my mom. And then um, I got birthday money, like I said, so I spent it on um, a lot more of the Revlon product. So I got two lipsticks from the um, Super Lustrous line. So I got one in Flesh Tone. So it just looks like this. It's very elegant, um, shiny, glossy packaging. And then you can see the color, which you really can't. But this one is 230 Flesh Tone. It's a cream. I really like the cream finishes. I've never tried the pearl ones. But anyway, this one is Flesh Tone. It's another... Um, nude but it's darker so it's more like a tan kind of nude which is also very pretty and i will swatch so it's very brown as you can see right there all right and then um the other one from the super lustrous lipsticks that i got is um pink in the afternoon 415 ta-da and it looks like this very pretty pink um it's good for like an everyday wear i thought it was like darker because on the on the cover on the um bottle bottle but on the container it looks a little bit darker but it's not it's just like that and then um i do plan on collecting a lot of these revlon super lustrous uh lipsticks just because i, I think this one are, these ones are my favorite um color wise pigmentation wise and um just the overall effect that it has but um, for like the color burst, this one has still been my favorite. Um, soft nude. All right, and then I got one from the matte edition. Is it matte collection? This one is in number thirteen, smoked peach. Looks like that, and that's how it looks like. This one has a little bit of frost in it. Um, it's a little bit drying though. I have tried it, but I still really like the color because it's more like a corally color. So that's how it looks like, smoked peach. So flesh tone, oh, I mean um, soft nude, flesh tone, pink in the afternoon, and smoked peach. So those are the um, lipsticks that I got. But I also got myself a couple of the super lustrous lip gloss, which I've been eyeing for a long time. I'm still waiting for one more because I did want to get um, peach petal because it's just the perfect, perfect, perfect nude. But I got um, two of the colored ones. Da -da -da. Um, this one is in Firecracker, I think. Yes, Firecracker. You can't see it because it's like super tiny. And this one is in Coral Reef 117. So I will swatch them both. Um, this one is actually what I'm wearing on top. I don't know if you can see it. I doubt it. But it's like um, soft nude. And then I just put the Coral Reef on top. And I've been using this every single day when I go out. So just a pretty corally color. So that is Coral Reef. Just very pretty pink. So, it's like a really light peachy pink, I guess. Corally, I guess. And then Firecracker is this one. Um, this one is more of like an orange uh, base tint than a red tint, but I still like it. So, and it's not super opaque. It's like more of a sheer. That's why it just gives it like a really like light hint of red, which I really do like. So it's more of an orange, like I said, than a red. So those are the Revlon lippies that I got um, from my birthday money. And then um, I got a couple of things from friends as well. I got like a really big card. I actually don't know where it is. But they also got me, well, do, I, I do know where it is, but it's somewhere in my room, but I just forgot to get it. And then they also got me this thing from Innovation House or Invitation House. I have no idea where this is, but if you guys know where this is, because it's really cute, actually, what they got me. So I just planned on um, seeing a couple more things. But this is from my Burkata in um, 
college, which I think is really cute, because they know that I'm, like, really girly. I'm the, well, I'm not the girliest one, but I'm pretty girly. So they got me this. It's, like, a really, really cute, um, perfume. Can you hear that? It's, like, a, a perfume holder, I guess, or whatever you want it to be. So you just twist it open and then pour the stuff in, just like that. And it's really cute, like, a travel size thing. I'm just really scared, though, to bring it around with me just because I think it's a glass. So, I don't know. But it just looks like this. It's like a pretty, pretty design. And then it has like a green um, push top thing. I don't know what you call it. But they got me that. And thank you so much for that gift. And then another one of my close college friends. Um, he's a boy. But he went to, this is the story of this gift. He went to the States for a conference um, for work. And um, I asked him to get me something from the States, which was uh, last year. He went there last year. And I asked him to get me a cream, what do you call it, a cream sheet glass from MAC. It's called Boy Bait. And he did get it, but we haven't seen each other. Well, we, di we did see each other for, like, um, ever since he got back from the States. But he would never, he would always forget to bring it. Um, but finally, he gave it to me, um, and he was like, this is your birthday gift already. <laughs> but this is Boy Bait from, oh, you can't see that. But Boy Bait from MAC, it's a cream sheen glass, it just looks like that. It's again a nudie pink, and I love it. I don't use it a lot just because you can't, I can't buy it here. I had to have him, like, buy it in the States. But anyway, let's just swatch it down here. It's just a pretty nude, super, super perfect kind of nudie. You really can't see it, but it's like a nudie pink color, but I love it. Alright, so that's Boy Bait, just looks like that. And then, um, oh, I forgot one thing from Revlon again. Um, but this is actually my mom's, but we're sharing it. She bought it for herself, but I was like, I think I like it. Um, this one is the Revlon Color State Eyeliner Crayon Contour. Yeah, Eyeliner Crayon, con crayon Contour in Black Brown. Um, because black is a little bit too harsh, and my mom likes it to be like a little more, like, um, less black. But it, this is a pretty, pretty, I keep saying pretty, pretty, but anyway, it's, just like the perfect, this one goes, um, gets along with her skin and her, um, body chemicals a lot more than the rest, and this one does not smear on her, so it looks a little bit more brown, but, um, it's still like a black brown, I, still, I really do like this one. Um, I really don't know the Revlon prices, but just go ahead and, um, check the counters, because they are very friendly, a lot of them are very friendly, um, and you can test out a couple more than, um, you know, whatever you want to test out, and they're fine with that. Um, so yeah, I really do like Revlon. I've said this a billion times before. Revlon has got to be one of my favorite drugstore products. It's a little bit more expensive than a lot of our drugstore products here in the Philippines, but, um, Revlon has got to be one of my all-time favorites, um, you know, if it's not, like, super high-end. Um, but it does, like, for me, it does, like, get along very well with, like, MAC and NARS and, um, all those high-end products. I think Revlon would have to be in my top three or top five, maybe, something like that.